So we're going to review a few things that might help us to help you better. This time what I'd like to do is just show you the proper way to remove the convector cover. The best thing to do is to kneel down so you don't hurt your back in any way and just grab it from the sides and just lift. As you see, it comes off if you lift straight up and all you do is be able to put it on the side in a place where it won't fall over. Again, if you're not capable of doing this, if you have any disabilities or you're a senior and you don't have someone that could help you, by all means call our CSO office. Our maintenance department will come and assist you in any way possible. On the side, you'll see that on the convector, now mind you, it's not always on the same side. You might have it on this side. In this case, it's on this side. The position that's neutral and we, we consider is off is in the middle. You shut it off because you should never have it on while you're doing anything with the convector. Okay, as you see, the system itself right now is dry because the AC season is, uh, hasn't begun, but these are the systems that are important. The coil, the drip pan, and the lower drip pan. Of course, every AC or convector has a filter. This is important to make sure that these are always kept clean. This will help the air circulation and give you more an efficient convector. Okay, the, the filter actually goes right in. Don't, you do not need any special attachments. As you see, it's very simple, it goes right in. The system itself has to be clean to keep any debris from going down the drain. As you see, there's a small drain here and a second drain here. These would be the only reasons you would have a convector leak. If any of these two at any time clog, you'll have a problem with water overflowing and damaging your floor. The best thing to do is have a damp cloth and just make sure that any debris is removed. In this case, there's very little debris, but it's always important to keep this drain that we have on the side from clogging. At the same time, once you do this, you do the same exact thing with the lower drain. Remove any debris that could possibly clog your drain. Once you've done that, all you do is simply take a quart, uh, we prefer to have at least two quarts of water, pour it down, and you start from one end and make sure that the water is coming down and there's no obstructions. As you see, the water that I have poured in is coming out, so we've already cleared this drain and it is open. Okay, once we have that, we make sure that the second drain is operating properly. We pour the water in. If at any time the water goes down slow, or if it doesn't go down at all, at that point you stop pouring any water in and call the maintenance office immediately. You must make sure that you do this at least once a month during the summer seasons to assure no damage to your apartment. You reach back to your cover, and when you come over, you do the same thing. You put it in, line it up. Once it's lined up, you let it drop down and you lock it in by simply lifting it up on one side and then lifting it up on the other. And now it's locked in and now the system is ready to go. Again, you can turn it on at that point. Always remember, if it's a humid day, all you have to do is close your windows and the unit will run efficiently. If you leave the windows open while the system is on, you create more humidity, more condensation, and more of a chance for it to leak. Okay, that concludes the actual operations and the precautions. Now, here's what you need to do in order to assure that if you have a problem, you get prompt service. Anytime you're not sure if the motor's making a noise, if you suspect there's water dripping, you must make sure you call your CSO office, but most most likely you would be reaching maintenance. Maintenance is available 24 hours a day for emergencies. This would be considered an emergency. If any time you have a leak, you suspect there's a leak, you call your maintenance office and they will respond immediately to be able to minimize any damage that might occur in your apartment. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good day.